Hi friends, this is Kensley. Uh, today I thought I should uh, quickly talk to you guys about uh, tips on handling rejections and one very important key to achieving your dreams. You know, uh, in the course of applying to different schools uh, for admissions, uh, talking to different professors, asking them to take you on as their supervisors, one of the things that's going to happen is that you're going to meet with some degree of rejection. So not every school is going to accept you and not every professor is going to, as it were, just uh, embrace your uh, embrace you with open arms and say, yeah, come over to my life, I want to be a supervisor or something. So I thought I should uh, share some quick tips on how you can handle those rejections and that important key you need to have to achieving your dreams. You know, one of the most morbid fears that human have, that humans have, is the fear of rejection. Now, whether it's rejection by a spouse or by a child or by that person you love so much and hope to share the rest of your life with, or whether it's rejection by the professor you reached out to asking him or her to be your supervisor or the school you apply to dated your application and would not grant you uh, the admission. Now, whatever it is, we all fear rejection and feel extremely disappointed when we are rejected. Now, let me share some tips with you on how to handle rejections as it relates to schools and potential supervisors. The first thing I want you to be very clear about in your heart is that rejection is normal and will happen to you. So when it does happen, take it in your stride. Don't bow your heads. Remember this very clearly. Let it be fairly established, settled in your heart. Not all schools you apply to will accept you. Not all professors you email will get back to you, or if they do, will eventually accept you. So let that be very clear, be very firm in your heart that not every school, not every professor will accept you. Now, what is established, when rejection does happen, learn to quickly move on and don't dwell on rejections. So if one school or professor refuses your application, despite all your best efforts, despite your accurate and well-written documents, your CVs, well-written emails, well-written motivation letters and things like that, and you still get rejected, just move on. Move on from that school or that person and apply to the next. The third thing, uh, the third tip I want to share with you is learn from your rejection. Ask the question, is there something I can do differently in my next application to stand a better chance of succeeding? Or is there something I can do differently in my email to the next professional to stand a better chance of him or her accepting my request? Ask that question and if there is, and in most cases there was always be something you can do differently, then apply the lessons learned to those future applications, to those future emails. Now, moving on from those tips, there is one thing that I have learned over a uh, length of time in life as a very important key to achieving my dreams, and that is the need to be persistent. You know, you have to learn to be persistent. You have to learn to have a never give up attitude. You have to remember that if you persist long enough, that door of opportunity will eventually open up to you. That person or that thing that you want, you will eventually get in this case, a school admission, the professor becoming your supervisor, it will eventually happen. Now, let me question my story, you know, uh, in the in the fall of uh, 2011, you know, when I was attending the uh, Society for Neuroscience meeting in, in Washington, D.C. Now, I attended that meeting solely with the aim of applying to different labs and asking to be taken in as a postdoctoral fellow, you know, just applying for that particular position. Now, I remember that when I got to that meeting, it, one of the first things I did was to go to the job boards, you know, the online job boards. And then I scanned through the hundreds of different postdoctoral positions that were open. And then I selected 
the ones that related to my field where I knew I had the uh, the academic strength and the mental capabilities to be able to succeed in where I knew I had I was competent, you know. And I selected those ones. Now, it will interest you to know that in the space of three days, I was able to apply to more than 50 of those positions. Now, not all 50, I had the exact skill sets. There were some of them, I had like some of the skill sets that was required and others, and I didn't have the others. But I knew that if I go into any one of those 50, I was competent enough to succeed. You know, and, and, and then I applied to them all, you know, and one after the other, oh, sorry, uh, you're not the exact thing we are looking for, sorry, your skill set does not fit what you have, sorry. You know, those kind of rejections can come, but it didn't bother me much because I already knew that I was going to apply to these ones that I knew I was competent enough to succeed in. And I call you very clearly that not all of them will accept me. So right from the start, I already knew that I would get these rejections, but I just persisted. You know, I kept applying, I kept applying, and then whatever lessons I learned from the first one, I applied to the other one, I kept applying. And then one morning, you know, I just woke up one morning and, okay, let me go check if there's any anything from this job board, even when just got him back to me. And I just got an email. Somebody just, one of the, one of the professors in that the meeting just like sent an email, oh, do you have time to meet? I saw your CV, I saw your application. And I'm interested in uh, talking to you about uh, a possible opportunity. And that was all. And I just needed that one opportunity. Of course, my response was, yes, I have the time to meet. I mean, <laughs> that's why I'm here for this meeting, right? And then, you know, then online, we just arranged a meeting where we would meet at, in a place where we would meet in the, in the meeting. And then we met at that place. And then I was interviewed. And... Because again, I was also very ready. And I'm talking about that in one of my other videos, you know, the need to be ready. I was ready. That interview lasted for five minutes. And after five minutes of my talking about my work, my presentation, you know, she was like, okay, you know what? I'm convinced, I'm done. I'm giving you this offer. You have it. When can you come and start your postdoctoral training in my lab? That was it, it was five minutes. And the interview was over and I got the offer. Now the point I'm making here is that if I didn't persist after the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth rejections, I probably would not have got to the place where I would apply for the ninth, the tenth, and the twelfth one. So the key lesson I want you to learn today, in addition to learning the tips on how to handle rejections, remember to be persistent. Have a never give up attitude. When you persist long enough, that opportunity will eventually open to you and that door will open to you. So I hope these simple tips will benefit someone watching and um, I hope that uh, you can put the negative emotions of rejections behind you and learn to be persistent. I'm really curious and interested and I really want uh, folks as you listen to this video to also share your story. So, if you've had a story where you were persistent and that led to you achieving your dreams, it would be very, you know, I really like you to share your story in the comment sections below and let other persons learn from your own story. Or if you have, if you have other tips, you know, that uh, folks can learn from on how you've overcame rejection, rejection of whatever kind, and now you're able to move on and now you're succeeding or now you've succeeded. Please, you know, for the benefit of others who are also watching, you know, let's all learn from each other. And kindly please just share your story in the comment section below so that we can all we can all learn and benefit. Okay, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.